States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands. One Savior, crucified, risen, and coming again with life and liberty for all who believe. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp into my feet and a light into my path. I will hide God's word in my heart and I will not sin against God. Amen. I'm Katie, and it's January 18th, 2013. Good morning, everyone. I'm Lexi, and you are watching the WSPC Morning News. Just a reminder, middle school exams will finish today. Please make sure you walk qui quietly as we travel to resources this morning. There will be a meeting in the gym after school today at 1135 for all girls in fifth grade and middle school who are interested in trying out for this year's Lady Saints softball team. SPCS Spirit Week is next week. It's going to be a fun week of showing your SPCS spirit. Now Isis is here to tell us about... Good morning, SPCS. I'm Isis Mallory, and I'm the Vice President of the Student Government Association. I'm here to talk about Spirit Week. The first day of school is Monday, but we won't be here because it's a holiday. The second day of school, Tuesday, will be School Spirit Day, where you can come dressed up in a Jeans Day shirt or red, white, and blue. Wednesday is Decades Day, where you can come dressed up as your favorite decade. Like, if you were doing 80s, you could come dressed up punk rock with fluorescent colors, you know, things like that. On Thursday will be your favorite sports team's day, where you can come dressed up as gators or whatever. Um, Friday will be class color day. I'm going to tell you the class colors. Kindergarten is navy blue, first grade is white, second grade is red, third grade is orange, fourth grade is yellow, fifth grade is green, sixth grade is light blue, 7th grade is black, not purple, black, and 8th grade is pink. Don't forget the January SSYRA reward is being given out now in the library. Make sure you bring your reward card into the library to receive your reward. Happy birthday to Jackson Muhammad in kindergarten. Jason Conti is celebrating a birthday over the three-day weekend, too. Make sure to tell each one happy birthday when you see them today. The weather outlook for today should be mostly sunny day with our temperature reaching the high of mid-60s. The current temperature is a chilly 58 degrees. The Bible verse of the day is Galatians 5.16. I say this to you, let the Holy Spirit lead you in one step, then you will not please your sinful old selves. For myself, Katie, and the WSPC staff, enjoy your day everyone. See you around the library and our campus. Bye! Bye. Martin Luther King was born in Atlanta, Georgia on January 15, 1929. Martin Luther King graduated high school at the shockingly young age of 15. Martin studied for nonviolent protests at a school for ministers called Morehouse College. Martin Luther King Jr. married Coretta Scott King in 1953 and had four kids. In August 1958, Martin organized a group called the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. In 1964, Martin received the Nobel Peace Prize for combating racial inequality through nonviolence. King's most famous act in the Civil Rights Movement was the I Have a Dream speech. I have a dream. In 1968, King went to Memphis, Tennessee he was shot and killed on April 4th when he was a surprisingly young age of 39. Let's have a moment of silence for this passionate young preacher. So you 
even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day on the Red Hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream that one day even the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day down in Alabama with its vicious racist, with its governor having his lips dripping with the words of interposition and nullification, one day right there in Alabama little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day every valley shall be exalted. And every hill and mountain shall be made low. The rough places will be made plain. And the crooked places will be made straight. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. And all flesh shall see it together. This is our hope. This is a faith that I go back to the South with. With this faith. We will be able to hew out of the mountain of despair a stone of hope. With this faith, we will be able to transform the jangling discords of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. With this faith, we will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to go to jail together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. This will be the day, this will be the day with all of God's children be able to sing with new meaning my country tears of thee sweet land of liberty of thee i sing land where my fathers died land of the pilgrims pride from every mountainside let freedom ring and if america is to be a great nation this must become true and so let freedom ring from the prodigious hilltops of new hampshire let freedom ring from the mighty mountains of New York. Let freedom ring from the heightening Alleghenies of Pennsylvania. Let freedom ring from the snow-capped Rockies of Colorado. Let freedom ring from the curvaceous slopes of California. But not only that, let freedom ring from Stone Mountain of Georgia. Let freedom ring from Lookout Mountain of Tennessee. Let freedom ring from every hill and mole hill of Mississippi, from every mountainside. Let freedom ring, and when this happens, and when we allow freedom ring, when we let it ring from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, 
free at last. Thank God Almighty, we are free at last.